Uh, my name's Jason. Uh, I come from East Bay, uh, Concord, and uh, I just talked with uh, Alistair. Invoked um, Dogmatica. Um, How are your matchups? I got a lot of Dragon League today. Uh, you know, against the uh, just Dark Dex Winda. Winda was stopping a lot of that card. Um, my only loss was to a Sword Soul. Um, I, that was just one misplay. I think that was the one misplay I made today. And it did cost me the match. But uh, other than that, you know, when I lost, my team, you know, picked up the work and they carried me to the end. Nice. All right, man, let's check it out. Um, we'll keep it very simple. Uh, three Alistairs. Uh, two Dogmaticas with the Maximus and Floor. Um, I do shotgun this first turn every time. Don't care if uh, they're playing a mirror match. Uh, when I do find out they're the mirror match, I do uh, not activate this. But I think this card's like really good. Um, just to get you to your window play. Um, I am playing the Fusion Destiny package. Um, this is very fun to play. I do see this um, uh, Fusion Destiny a lot. And then every now and then I do see one or the other. But um, very cool package. And then for hand traps, three Ash, three Veilers, uh, one Droll, and a uh, Nib. Um, very impactful to stop a Fusion Destiny. Uh, nib with Baylor, Nib with Imperm, they can use more resource just to like blow them out more. And then the Droll is basically the bridge for Small World. Um, with this card, it pretty much uh, kind of gets to your other spellcaster. So you can go to Alistair, to this, to your Dogmatica or uh, backwards. Um, and then for spells, just three field spells and the terraforming. Uh, no Mystic Mine in the main. Uh, this card's pretty good. Uh, what I like to do is on summon, uh, activate fusion, uh, what's it called? Uh, DPE. And they, they can't really respond to it. Uh, people forget about it. Uh, but uh, this is like very safe to make your plays. Uh, another more power spells, fusion destiny. I do see this a lot. Uh, this card's I don't know. With this card, it makes the deck fun. Uh, this format has just been so much fun with this card. Um, more power spells. Three in a Dear Servants. Um, this, I, I'll admit, I do see Alistair this and this a lot. So that's why I like the deck. It's just a bunch of power spells. Uh, cards to search your power spells. Just uh, two prosperity. Um, I didn't want to do three because uh, it is once per turn. I feel like I'm behind if I uh, see two. Um, and then I don't want to banish more of the extra deck because um, um, the extra deck has come up where I banished the wrong cards. Uh, so that's why I just limit it to two. And then uh, another thing is uh, two small worlds. Uh, this does fix my hand. Um, what I like is, let's say you see Alistair and uh, this and a bunch of hand traps. Alistair does the Mechaba play and then this switches to uh, Dogmatica stuff. Uh, just with the uh, Golden Lock uh, Bridge. Uh, and then the one of uh, just play one. Uh, the second one did come up today. So I think that's the only change I would do is just switch this to two. But a lot of the time, just seeing one was fine. The only reason why I needed two, because this went to grave when I got uh, Dimensional Barrier. Uh, but that was the only situation. Because uh, eventually I top deck two into an Alistair and couldn't search this. Uh, very good. Uh, I like it going first or second. Just everyone plays hand traps. Um, I saw one build with uh, one cosmic. Um, I just want to respect that one random uh, IO, uh, Floodgate, or Mystic Mine. I did see someone check this just one and uh, it just comes up. And then the one uh, to protect his talents. This won me games, you know, uh, draw two, fix my hand, look at their hand, take engage. You know, hand knowledge, uh, take control. Uh, just, just one. I tried, I tried more, but I kept seeing two, and I just, I'm falling behind if I see two, and I fall, e I fall even more behind if I don't even activate it. If they don't even activate any hand traps, uh, and then just for traps, one schism, one punishment, three. Uh, uh, it burns. Uh, deck count is forty-two. Um, extra deck, just a. Uh, um, 
the Alistair play. Um, if you're playing the Maximus, you do need this. Um, it does suck if Alistair gets Chalice, because then if you get Chalice, you can't make this. So the other one does, like, would come up. But uh, if they have Chalice, they have Chalice. But uh, having that, you know, this left over after you make Mechaba with this, uh, to make Maximus to do uh, Schism, like, it's just really good. I do recommend like, these two. Uh, and then Anaconda gets into this. Uh, very cool card, this format. Uh, love it. Um, I do have the two Mechaba, and the second Mechaba comes up. Um, very good card, very strong one card to play. Uh, play Fire, um, this can make it with Amirage, um, you know, Pierces, uh, barely comes up, but you know, it's there. And then I played this over the Wind, just to uh, hit the Enforcer. Uh, you can hit a Ray and banish it as a material. Uh, I do think there's a lot of darks. You can probably banish a Rusty with this uh, uh, as a material and just make this. This card is kind of bad as like one one activate. So you, if you enforce her pop, you can't enforce her special. Uh, and then also, also one attack. But if this with Purgatrio, you're just keep attacking with Purgatrio. Uh, so, but it's just there. It's just to come up. And then a uh, pretty good card. Uh, use their uh, Fusion Enforcer. Uh, your DPE and then uh, make this uh, so it's pretty good uh, should all package is one uh, one and two um, I actually like this a lot um, I see some players just play this um, but I do think making a second window later in the game uh, just comes in comes in clutch uh, uh, I'm not sure to cut this for Omega. I probably would consider it, but I just like this as this ratio so far. Uh, and then my last two is uh, Entis the Pop, and then this. Usually with Maximus, you send this and uh, a Shadal, and uh, on their turn, you banish this and their, uh, that Shadal to make a window. Uh, and then you get your value with uh, Ecclesia, Maximus, and then Floor in hand. So, pretty good. Uh, side deck, uh, very strong card this format, um, going first or second, uh, you can play against Flunders, they can have uh, Apex, you can go second, you just activate this, they get very scared because they don't really uh, play back row removal, uh, but uh, card's very strong, very good with uh, DPE. Um, uh, this came up a lot, uh, evenly match. Um, Lightning Storm is cool, I, but I do respect uh, uh, the Rock Prison. Uh, that's why I was like, I like this and against uh, PK, which is like just that's just personally my uh, the scariest matchup. Uh, they have a lot of a lot of grind. Uh, this card is just very good. They don't really make board negates. Um, uh, Private cards, uh, Panker just carries a lot because I do play Striker, and then the, this card just. You have to use two cards to get rid of this. And then, uh, quick play. I do respect uh, the rock, so that's why I do the the banish. Um, droplet, uh, just two. Um, yeah, what was I gonna say? This is $160 for a reason. Uh, they did win me a match. Uh, he attacked, trying to just do damage uh, on time, and then damage step, droplet. If he didn't have droplet, I win. Um, so, MVP card of the, the day. Um, I was thinking Lancia, but uh, in the car ride coming, uh, we switched this to uh, DE Crow just because um, in the mirror match, let's say you go DPE and you just, you know, hitting each other and all that stuff. On your turn, you can hit theirs as your top deck. Uh, special summon yours, and now you have no cards in hand and uh, uh, draw, uh, draw your two. Uh, this also hits engage, just get. Like, rid of that card. Um, Lancia is cool, but it only stops you for that turn. I feel like it's like Drone Lock where you have to win that game. Uh, and then the last two cards with the Drone Lock, because I just expected a lot of mirror match. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. Nice, man. Big congrats on winning today's yeah. event. Uh, any shout outs? Uh, shout outs uh, to the guys. Um, I talked to Joseph uh, two months or a month before to pick him up, and then Avery was like a. Uh, kind of like a kind of like a last minute thing um, I didn't know if he had a team already and no one picked them up 
and uh, look at him now that he got first uh, with me. Uh, he did he did a lot of carrying, as in I think he only lost one match, right? Oh, he didn't lose any. Like like he he did carry the team, but uh, yeah, I can't believe no one picked him up. Uh, so I was how really did, glad. Yeah. How did uh, like your seating uh, play a factor, like uh, A, B, and C, all that? Um. You know what's funny? Usually B is the one coaching them and all that stuff. But Avery was kind of like coaching me at one point. And uh, that coaching just like took me to like uh, two finals basically. Isn't that awesome? I, that's why I love these team events. Yeah, like the that, team does. But I think people are underestimating the communication. Like yeah. that like plays so important in a 3v3 compared to like 1v1. Oh, I feel like other people are not like using that. Yeah. Uh, communication is like key. Yeah. All right, man. Big congrats. Uh, thanks again. Mm-hmm.